Welcome back to Alma, Missouri for episode 20 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm just going to get the couple of contracts done before I move on to the episode fully. So I've got the potato harvest on field 18 and I'm still doing that bailing contract on field 40. Um, so probably just a couple of quick snippets of me doing that. But we are going to use the, uh, the big beastie that I bought and hopefully we'll get more root crop contracts coming up. I did get um, a potato header for this. I purchased the carrot one, which I shouldn't have done. I should have leased it, really. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm heading back from completing the um, bailing contract. The potato contract is done, you've probably seen both of those. I did a couple of little clips of me you know, doing what I had to do. Uh, what I also did, the money went down, money's gone up because those two contracts, one paid was it 59, one was 46. Not bad payouts. I've put in some more greenhouses. Um, I, I might remove a couple of these, maybe these two those two I don't know um, because the tomatoes were really slow chugging away so these two I think are greenhouses with seed and fertilizer um, and these actually run not not ridiculously fast but they're pretty good um, so we've got well we've got loads of greenhouses now because we've got the fruit ones haven't we? I just remembered um, so those have been put in oh I had that you know, I kept saying, Mrs. Silly P was, um, when I was editing yesterday, was watching me edit. And she said, you seem all over the place today. And I said, well, it's that thing I talked about. Because I was doing court, because I was doing Alma, because I started The Floor is Lava. And um, been doing some Snow Runner. I was kind of all over the place. When I came back onto here, I couldn't remember what I'd put where, what I'd stored where, what was running what. Um... It needs to be fresh in your mind. You need to be doing it all regularly. So I leased the mowers and stuff that I needed for doing the baling contract. And I said, I'm not going to lease the quick, quick bale. I'm going to go for a square baler this time, which I did. Um, I drove over here to pick up a trailer for doing the potato contract. And then suddenly remembered, I bought all the mowing stuff, didn't I? I bought it all a while back before doing baling contracts. So I had the mowers sat here and the quick, quick bale. And I had the tedder. Well, that's the older version, not the new version. Um, I had it here the whole time. 
So I returned the lease stuff so I didn't go into the next hour and incur penalties and finished off using this stuff. Um, but I did have the square baler, which I think it was 12 grand to buy and I think the lease cost was 400 and something. It wasn't very expensive to lease. So I could have used the quick bail, but didn't. Um, <laughs> it's just the way it is. I'm coming into the shed because what popped up was cultivating, um, the cultivating contract. I'm hoping for another one to pop up. On field 18, which was the, the field that we did the potato harvest on. So we've got cultivating on there. What I am also going to show you is the result we had. The potato harvest that we did, we were left with... Well, actually, the contract was delivered to the all-in-one, all-crop, all all-in-one production. There's 14,000 litres of... I think it's 14,000. Might be more. Litres of potatoes in there, because the contract completed, but there was some left... So that's over there, which I can get out at some point. But I had a full load here. Oh, 77,600 litres of potato. I left it in here um, because I thought, well, we'll put the potato in. That'll be used for making soup at some point, which is great. Fruit production is still going. But then the baling contract, I delivered 63 bales to complete the contract. And I was left with 34 34 so as you can see there's me round and there's me square 34 bales I'm not knocking that 8,000 litre bales 34 of them left over that was yeah that's a win as far as I'm concerned happy with that while I'm heading back down to the tractor I'm going to head out to field 18 actually what we'll double check just in case we're going to go that way um, because obviously we did the harvest contract on field 1 just here next door I wondered if we we're going to get a cultivating contract on that but nothing's popped up yet because that would be nice and easy right next door wouldn't it? I would like that I just want to wish Martin a very happy birthday from myself the community at large but most importantly from your wife Linda she messaged me a while back and said could I wish you a happy birthday there was a couple of things she wanted me to do I wasn't I, they weren't it's nothing bad I just wasn't comfortable doing I don't know but anyway, happy birthday Martin hope you have a fantastic day with it being Valentine's Day tomorrow as well I hope Linda spoils you rotten have a great day and take care of yourself so um, I'm going to go the other way out actually this time because I don't everything t tends to tem send me in towards the town um especially if I'm leasing or borrowing equipment, you tend to go into town to get it. But field 18 is up sort of the top corner-ish, so we'll head out this way, which like I say, don't do very often. I am looking at new maps. I'm not starting a new map just yet. I am looking at new maps. I've also got something else, a concept, possibly for a one-off video I'm thinking of doing. Which could, it could technically go into a, a full series if I wanted it to. It's another one of those ones, a little bit like The Floor is Lava, where I, I'm not sure how people are going to go with it. It's one of those things that it could go viral just as a video, but probably won't. Um, or people are going to absolutely despise me for even considering the prospect, but we'll see. Something that dawned on me, not dawned on me, but... I had just had one of those um, epiphanies, the wrong word as well, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, it's something I'm mulling over. You'll see. If the video pops up that you absolutely despise, it's probably that. Just have an idea. We've got that silage, wasn't I? I said in the last episode about selling it. You could buy the biogas plant. I don't know how expensive it is. I don't know if we've got enough, have we? Because I'm sure... Well, I'm not sure. I'm thinking now. Doesn't... Uh, doesn't the biogas plant here do methane? I'm just thinking, like I say, all that silage is sat there. I've got a lot of alfalfa. The alfalfa could be cut again. I might swath it next time. So I could use this silage. I know people don't like me 
doing the alfalfa alpha silage is what not what's normally done. So I can replace what I'm going to use. But the thing to look at is the price of what well, if I just sell my silage, right? So I bring it down here to the biogas plant to sell it, which I can do. Um, all in one production will take it, biogas plant will take it, livestock bale sale point. All around 270 for a thousand litres. Fair enough. But if I bring it to the biogas plant, if I own it, because I can do sugar beet cut as well, and I've got some sugar beet cut. I don't want to use all of that. I mean, to be fair, I've probably got enough sugar on the go. I've got enough sugar beet. And with the sugar beet I've got, I could always make some more sugar beet cut. So I can do sugar beet, sugar beet cut. I've just used all my slurry to make fertilizer. But any slurry that make I make from now on, moving forward from the cows, I can bring here. What's the other thing? What am I missing? Silage, slurry. Oh, manure. I, manure I'm using, to be fair. But if we had any extra, I could. So the thing to look at now is, does this do this methane? 1,809, 1,828 for methane. So if that's a byproduct of the silage, that's a no-brainer, isn't it? Surely. How much is it? Oh, okay. That's, um, that puts us pretty close to the wire. As I said in the last episode, though, in my bid to buy up the town, oh, I'm going to do it, you know what? Too late now. We've got 41,000 left, although I'm off to do a, a contract that will uh, pay me 18 grand. If one comes up on field one, that should be a nice power as well. And then tomorrow, as we go into June 2, we'll have all of our stuff to sell. I've still got all, all of my um, fruit juices I haven't taken to be sold yet. And any surplus sugar, I'm going to be selling the sugar as well. So, um, I didn't even check. I just bought it. Didn't even look. Oh, hang on a second. I'll get going on this. No, I've got to check it. Why? I just bought it and then didn't even check. There's me saying that and then find it. So, there's got to be someone that does methane, though. If it's a price for methane. Oh, unless you can. No, that'd be weird. So, say if you buy it from the propane purchase point just to sell it again, that, no, that'd be a bit weird. There's got to be something that requires it. Or something that makes it. I'm sure it's on here. I'm just more concerned about the price. Sugar beet storage is empty. Yes, 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 yes. Right, let's turn that off, that off, that off, that off. So I can bring that and I can bring that. Slurry, not quite yet. I haven't got a lot. I mean, the reduction's quite a lot, but we'll get paid as well for the silage production. That's on the hour. Sugar beet cut. Yeah, we'll get a bit for that. We'll get some methane regardless. And that's something that because our slurry and our manure is a constant, and we might get, I don't know if we've got any sugar beet planted around the area. If we get any sugar beet contracts come up, we, should, we could get some more sugar beet this season. I don't know. Um, because it's all me, me, methane. Where is the methane tank? Oh, my eyesight is terrible. Yep, methane, okay. Well, I mean... We'll see, won't we? <laughs> we'll make some money. It's another one of those things, like I said, yes, it's just cost me 300 grand. If we make enough methane and we're making money from selling our silage and stuff like that, at the end of the day, it's grass that turns into silage and it's going to make us money. Over a period of time, we will pay for the biogas plant and we'll be in the money again. Or well, we're in the money anyway, aren't we? Because we've invested in property, which is always a good investment. You can't go wrong investing in property. So my question is now, how do I get my silage out of the clamp? Well, there's buckets and various different things. The obvious, the obvious I mean, say the obvious, the default would be to go to the, uh, the lizard forage pickup because that will work. What was the one on FS19? 17 and 19, there was one. It was like the Lizard Forage pickup, but it had a different name. Um, we could go for something like that. Or, oh, actually, no, I think I might go conveyor belt. I might go conveyor belt this time. I haven't done silage out of a clamp with a conveyor, conveyor belt for a while. So I think we'll go conveyor belt. Or I might, I might use the Dr. Drillia one, which I've used before, because that picks up from the ground, so that'll work no problem at all. 
what I'm going to do is get around the outskirts of this first get it to a point where we can get a worker going there we go and I've got a second one so I can get the second tractor up here and get two tractors going on it so it's a big field um, but with two tractors going and they can chug away we should be fine I might actually be better off bringing up two other tractors and use this one if I'm going to be shuttling backwards and forwards bringing silage to the biogas plant I don't know, I don't know what the capacity is either we'll see, but anyway um, I'm going to get cracking doing this then we'll sort out getting some silage out of the clamp uh, we'll take over some sugar beet I'll see if we've got any slurry I don't think we'll have much produced since what I just used but I'm regretting using it all now um, for making fertiliser but that again Mr CDP said to me um, do, you, do you normally have a plan sort of for what you're doing I said well I have a, a skeleton of an idea for each episode um, of what I want to achieve but sometimes what happens like that I thought we'll get some contracts come up I'll sell the juice I've got some bits and bobs I'll skip ahead to the next next month I'm aiming towards that big corn harvest on our on our farm um, and then going past the biogas plants, they thought, I'm sure I mentioned in the last episode about selling to the biogas plant, but why not buy it? So I've gone, again, I've gone off on a bit of a tangent, so I'm now doing something I wasn't intending doing, or at least not to the degree I was intending to do it. Um, we'll build our money back up again, of course we will. Okay, I've got two workers going over on field 18 with the two cultivators. The first and quickest and easiest thing I can do is get the sugar beet cut over. So I'm glad actually I stored it here and not up at the main sort of cooperative silo. Um, I can go with a full load actually on here. Like I said, I've got a whole load of sugar beet in here, so I could cut some more if I need to. I'll just lease one of those sugar beet cut trailers and do some more. So I'll take 77,000 litres over. I don't know how much it will hold. If it doesn't hold it all, whatever it doesn't hold, I'll bring back. That's not a problem. Then we'll get the silage over. Um, I will do a double check. Oh no. Okay, work A and. Um, is it work I? A blocked, I'm assuming they've driven into each other. So I'm going to have to go and check that. Brilliant. As I say, I think sugar pays out quite well and I'm, I've got uh, most of my things that's what I was going to say as well when I've been doing my deliveries each day I've got my deliveries to sell now I'm going to keep doing those I'm going to deliver the stuff myself um, because you lose a bit of money if you automatically sell but I've got some stuff now set to distribution my pineapple so my lemon and orange will continue to produce although that being said I bet that's two pallets of pineapple that's come out hasn't it Yep, I'll move those over. But the pineapple production here is now set to distribution. So that will distribute to the um, juice factory and out to the pizzeria. All my tomatoes are all set to distribution. So they will go to the tomato ketchup and that will produce the tomato ketchup. Uh, oh, butter. That was what I was going to do. I was going to set the butter here rather than keep delivering it. Um, I can set that to distribution as well. Um, Oh, the cheese too. Uh, yeah. So, all of those things now can just go to where they're going to go. I haven't got to worry about taking those. The other stuff I will then take and sell. My juice and all the soy drink and the ice cream, the woods, the soups, those kind of things. Um, because I don't have any ongoing products. Those are the f sort of final products for those. Um, what we can do, if I just stop here a second, I could have just done it anyway. How are we looking slurry down the bottom? 2,500. Well, I've got a little bit of slurry, not a huge amount, but that, obviously that's going to continue to produce. So as we go into June 2, I might take what's there. I am going to have to lease or buy, because as we found, our tanker here doesn't do slurry. It does do methane. That's going to be quite handy. <laughs> but it doesn't, unfortunately, doesn't do, uh, doesn't do slurry. But that's the way it goes, isn't it? So what I'll do is... Um, I'll see if they've got a Dr. Julia um, conveyor belt in stock. Because I, I have used the um, the lizard forage pickup a lot. 
but it works really well. I know I've said it so many times. It, you know, when you find those things that work and they do the job you want them to to do, you know, and they do it really well, you, you just fall back on those, you know. Especially when they're, you know, they're a good price to either buy or lease, and you know, they might do multiple jobs as well. A bit of a Swiss Army knife. You kind of think, well, whoa, blimey. Why wouldn't you? I need to do uh, that and that. I think I'm set to front now. Um, yeah. And whilst there is some not argument to say, you know, you should be trying and using other things, when those other things cost a lot more money to either buy or lease, they might only do one job. You then start thinking, well, why am I doing this? You know, again, if you're a farmer, and you have a particular tractor you like or a particular planter brand or you've got a planter that you really like if somebody said oh look you really should try using something different but the planter they're suggesting doesn't do everything you want it to do it might have a smaller capacity but it might be more expensive you're going to stop and think what, what why would i do that i know that being a real farmer and playing in game is a different thing i'm trying to show things off but you know now hopefully this should unload here and not there we go did I switch to the front? I did. So we can get that running anyway. Let's get our sugar beet cut going. Uh, yeah, it's not going to take all of it. That's for certain. Just over. Yeah. I'll have to switch to the rear tank. There we go, we're full, but that is running. Um, I don't know how fast it's going to run. But we can always bring some more back at another time, or that's not a problem. So my next job then is the silage situation. Let's sort that out. Oh, I need to go and check on those, uh, I need to go and check on the tractors. Switch that back to front. Actually, no, I don't want it back on front. I want it on rear for unloading back into our silo. Right, I'm going to go and sort out these workers and see if there's fisticuffs, filled fisticuffs. It's 4.04. Cultivating contracts is done, as you've seen. They made really light work of that. Very happy. Cracking job. So, I've got the Dr. Julia. Quantum XL1822. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing. 80.22. I knew it had an 8 in it somewhere. Hope this will work. I was actually looking at um, when I drove back from doing the um, cultivating jobs. I had a look at um, whether or not I could put a silage silage clamp at the biogas plant. <laughs> kind of, because it's right up against the edge of the map. Um, 
it wouldn't let me. It, I mean, you could put one, but it was over by the, the main, the two main gates. You couldn't turn it so it faced towards the road. It, it just didn't work. So I thought, well, you know what, we'll just carry on with the way we are. We'll, we'll be absolutely fine. Um, so what I'll do is clear this silo, silo out. Uh, I've forgotten, actually, how much have we got in here. 327,000 litres, that's cool. The other one's full. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty this. Then I'm probably going to get the um, swather. I'm going to swath all of this. So if you don't want alfalfa being turned into silage, <laughs> you can do corn silage, you can do grass and chaff and that kind of stuff. It will allow it. It will let me do it. I know people don't, you know, then look away. It's fine. I've got all of this and I've got all of that. So what I'll do is I'm going to swath all of that. Then that will go back into the clamp to be covered and done. But I'm going to empty this clamp first. And I've got the clamp over there as well. Um, so what we'll do is turn that on, lift that up. I will extend that out a little bit, I think. Just to get enough height. As long as we're over the trailers, we should be fine. Um, I could load into, could load into the lorry again, I guess. to there, turn it on. Right, so what we should have, we might have to unload, oh that's uncovered way way back, but, then I say this is more, you know, this is old school clearing the silage clamp before they nerfed silage and made it the nightmare. That was the beauty when I did um, Stone Valley and I had how many silage clamps? That massive silage I did, silage harvest I did right at the end of the series. We had millions and millions and millions and millions of litres. I think, was it 14 million litres? Was it, it was a ridiculous amount. But that was back in the day when you used to deliver your silage and you could have conveyor belts running. If you had your silage clamps at the biogas plant, you'd have all your, your conveyor belts running. You'd be clearing a clamp and it would be chugging through it. And you'd try and find that balance of the conveyor belts keeping up with the silage clamp or the silage clamp keeping up with the conveyor belts, whichever way around you looked at it. And at midnight you got paid. And silage was worth a lot more. It was you'd get big payouts for silage. Uh, now, not so much. So that's why you're better off if you can pick something to use your silage for, other than just sort of total mix ration that kind of thing. If there's another product or a process, but in this case we're going to get methane and digestate as a byproduct, then it's worth doing. I'm just not too sure how much it holds. I don't know whether I should go. You know what? I'm going to go with the trailer first. I think. I might come back and say that. We'll do one trailer load, and if it does require a lot more, then I might use the lorry, but we'll use the trailer first. Let's do that, that, and that. Just as a proof of concept, and then we'll see in the morning how much slurry we've got on hand. And then when I do my deliveries, we'll see how much money we make and where we're up to. in such a long time. Don't want to drive over my alfalfa, but... There we go. Oh, did I just knock into it? That thing is fast. It's not full already, is it? It is. <laughs> awesome. Very happy with that. A good setup, though, isn't it? Off to the biogas plant. Let's get the first bit delivered. So there are a couple more productions, aren't there? We were saying yesterday. I don't own the tailors. I don't own the dairy. But then, to be fair, I have got sort of a dairy production down the front here, kind of. Oh, I've got another full wool pallet that needs to go off to my all-in-one production. See if I can get some fabric made as well. Which I suppose, because I put the all-in-one production in and I took some wool up there, the wool should have gone to Taylor and Stitch. Um, not Taylor and Stitch. <laughs> not Lilo and Stitch either. <laughs> I don't know why that suddenly popped into my head. Um, but so the biogas plant and then the popcorn factory. And I don't think there's much, there isn't much left to purchase. And that was always my kind of goal. And I said about this coming onto here. With all the different productions and all the cool stuff you could do, like making pizzas and like the extra stuff in the bakery and the popcorn and the ketchup, and we're getting there. We're not far off. 
So I'll see the biogas plant in a minute. We'll tip this in and see how we're looking for the amount. And then um, if it needs more, I'll come back and we'll top it up. And then I'll see you in June too, probably. And we'll see how we're looking for methane and all the other products. And let's say we'll sell all our stuff because I haven't sold any of my juice yet. Is the juice worth the squeeze? That's the question. That's a question, not the question. Thank you for all the responses on yesterday's question about um, pineapple on pizza. Quite divided. Um, I do still wonder whether people actually listen to what I'm saying sometimes on my videos. I don't know. Like I said, maybe they've got mute. I don't know. <laughs> but if I ask people asking me, have I ever had pineapple on pizza? I said on the video, I do like a Hawaiian. I don't, you know. But um, who messaged me this morning? Someone messaged me this morning. Hang on just a second. It was Lewis. Lewis messaged me to say he likes uh, pepperoni and pineapple. I don't think I've ever had that. I think because it's ham, was it ham, mushroom and pineapple for a Hawaiian? Usually, it depends, of course, where you are in the world. Um, I've never had pepperoni and pineapple. Might have to give that a go. But anyway, yeah, thank you to the people that commented. And <laughs> it's funny how people are just so anti, yeah, sweet stuff on savoury, you know, or what's perceived to be, I don't know. I don't know I've still got that menu open at the top, actually. I don't really need to open there. Well, that's unloaded. And I'll show you what I mean. If we go to silos, um, I was looking at ones that weren't overly expensive, like the one I've got already, that one here. But there's a smaller one, these ones here. If I show you, that, like that, that's as far, if I come down with the camera, I can get, that's as far, and I'm pushing it as far as I can, because we're on the edge of the map, so unfortunately, you can turn that way, that way, obviously the tractor's in the way, um, but I can't get it to go any further that direction, which is a pity, because I thought having a silage clamp up here might be a good idea, but anyway, this is what it is, can't get planning permission, how are we looking, oh no, it will take loads, Fantastic, I'm just going to keep filling this up then. We'll get that turned on. How are we looking at the moment? 42 litres of methane, 86 litres of digestate. We're already chucking away. I think we'll do quite well. I'm happy. With how things are progressing. I think I'll probably use the lorry next then. Because I can get 76, 77, 76, whatever it is. Uh, you know what, let's remove that because that's... Uh I'm needed now. So I'll probably see you then. Oh, I might do another load with the lorry. Yeah, I'll, you might see a little clip of me just un putting some more into the uh, lorry from the clamp. Bring that up. I'll empty that clamp completely. Whether I'll start on the next clamp or not, I'll see whether or not I can fill this one. If I fill this one, I won't. Um, if it doesn't fill and I need some more, I'll probably open up the other clamp as well. But you'll see in the morning. And uh, if we've got a load of methane, we'll go and pick it up. We'll take it and sell it and see if we can make a bit of money. Hopefully by the morning we'll have some other contracts, maybe on field one, maybe some fertilising or sowing on, on field 18, I don't know. We'll see what pops up, but um, I'm sure I will pick up other contracts. Oh, I need to do the um, alfalfa as well, don't I? But I need an empty camp before I do that.
June 2, 7.56 in the morning. I'm starting to think I might need to pick a trailer. Considering all the stuff I've got on to distributing, which is going off to various different places. We have on the trailer today, a trailer of delights. We've got juices, various orange, um, pineapple, and we've got lemonade. We've got strawberry ice cream. We've got bread. We've got um, cornbread. We've got sweet cornbread. We've got a couple of two or three pallets of sugar. Uh, soy drink. What else have we got? We've got our soups. We've got wood. Um, what else? Oh yeah, let's whiz across the road before I take that. Have we got any pizza? We've got boxes. Nice. What have we got? Oh, look at that. Awesome. Pizza. And pineapple pizza. In fact, it says pineapple on the box as well. That's pretty cool. So, two pallets of pizza. They'll need to go as well. Um, I'll take those later on. Can't, I don't think we can pick those up by hand, can we? No. Um, so, I'm curious to see... Because I haven't sold any juice, fruit juices yet. So we've got the fruit juices on the trailer, which is, like I said, there's a lot on here. Um, and then we're off to the biogas plant to see about our, um, our methane. There's a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> I don't want this to roll over. I've got to be so careful turning. We'll take it to the market stall. The market trader is going to be overjoyed at the restocking. But we should do all right. And then, yeah, like I said, we'll pop over and get the methane. There'll be some digester as well. I'm not sure what to do with that yet, because my um, fertiliser production takes slurry, not digestate. So the digestate at the moment is spare. But I could spread that, or I could find another production. I don't think I'm going to find another production for it. Although that is the majority. I, I think I'm getting pretty much two to one. I'm getting more digestate that I'm getting um, methane but the methane pays out very very well so we'll do this I'm so glad we've got pizza that's brilliant so that's just in one day we'll say half a month really because I'm on two day months on here I think everything sells here we're about to find out we're on 54 grand oh All those people say it's not worth bothering but doing all the productions and I'm stuck on a car, that's not good. I'm stuck on a car or stuck on the map? There we go. Seventy two thousand two hundred and eight. I'm happy with that. Plus I've got some pizza to go and to, uh, deliver as well. I shouldn't fucking bring pizza here, I'm not too sure. All the productions, all the things that are distributing are all distributing nicely where they need to go. So that's fantastic. Just went over the hour. Did that go up or down? That was the weird thing. You know what I said about the biogas plant paying out on the hour? Now bear in mind, um, the biogas plant, I ended up opening up the second silage clamp and the biogas plant took about 500,000 litres. Um, I had a weird thing, so I've got that biogas plant with those special front lips to stop stuff falling out the front when you fill it up. Um, that conveyor belt really struggled. I, I couldn't get anything out of it. So I ended up having to get the um, forage pickup header to start it. And then once I started it, I could get the um, conveyor belt over that first lip. And then it worked. It was very strange. Um, but yeah, we went through the night. I was on 57 grand. Now, bearing in mind the biogas plant, you earn money because it's doing the process. Um, I was down. We started the morning, I was on 54 grand. I'd lost three grand overnight. Now I know I've got a lot of productions running, so obviously there's the the, um, the running costs of the facilities, but I would have thought it would have negated that. I don't know. Oh, that was something I need to check. Um, how are we looking contract-wise today? Oh, I took on a bailing one, because that's silage bales. I'm um, not doing those. I was hoping for some other ones. And the other thing as well we need to check, because it is a new day, is used vehicles. Oh. Oh, we leased one of those, didn't we? So we leased it, and now it's popped up. 40 grand. 
for a 26 meter plow so for half price that's not bad i don't need the komatsu i'm fine i think do i want that plow though we don't we haven't had many plowing contracts to be fair before i forget let's deliver these pizzas i just checked the price <laughs> I can take him to the market store or I can take him to the diner next door. I think the diner next door is a better solution, isn't it? Go from the pizza area, get him to the diner and people can come and have a quality pizza. And what I will say, and you'll see in a minute when I sell these, I might be overcharging for my pizzas. But I don't mind. As long as they're happy to pay it, we're about to find out. If they're not, it's here, isn't it? I always get this bit wrong. There we go. Look at them go. People are loving them. 13,638 dollary dues. Well, I'll take that. That's awesome. So, is it worth doing the pizzas? Absolutely. I mean, that's 13 grand. That's within 24 hours. Half a month. I mean, like, I know I say 24 hours. We've gone over into the next day, but it's half a month because I'm on two day months. Um, so, with everything still distributing there, that cost me 40 grand, the pizzeria. So inside of, what, two months? Three months? I'm paid off. I've paid it off, and all the rest is just clear profit. Sorted. Now we're off to the biogas plant. I nearly forgot the pizzas, that's fine. Biogas plant. Time to find out just how much methane have we got. Whoa. Nearly 14,000 litres. That's not bad. Again, overnight. So we're going to head into town. You know um, Strickland Propane, where I did the early ones? I was selling propane, and then I ended up buying the corn dryer, which meant all the propane that I'd sold, I then technically bought back. But um, I've run out of corn for the corn dryer. I've run out of corn and dried corn for making our cornbread now. So that's why I need my corn crop ready and we can crack on with that. So we're going back over to Strickland Propane and we can sell the methane there, I th think. Um, so as it's turned out, to be fair, with everything we're selling, including the biogas plant, we're making good money. And then adding to that, contracts and other things we're doing you know, every now and again when they pop up. We're running a very profitable farm. We are nearly there. Fingers crossed. You know what the traffic's like. Something like it's just come hooning into us. I think it's these tanks here, just on the right. I'm sure these ones say methane. Or, I suppose, methane. Depends where you're from. There we go. Start overloading. What we're going to get for our nearly 14,000 litres. Twenty, twenty-five grand. Today is an absolute winner, winner chicken dinner. We are doing all right, and that's the same thing with that. That cost me three hundred grand. The, the, the um, biogas plant, At twenty-five grand each time. Yes, it's going to take me a few months, but we are going to pay that off in no time. It's money back in the bank. We're up to 165 grand from 54. And that is where we're going to end this episode. Slightly richer. I might stop at the diner for a pizza. Oh no, I can't afford it. Can't afford one of them pizzas. It's ridiculous. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.